features. Try strumming in different locations on the neck. This will create a kind of narrative with the chords and you'll be able to add some variety to the sound. If you strum back at the bridge, the sound will be metallic. If you strum towards the neck, it'll be fuller. You can also try strumming upwards or with your thumb or your nails. Let's look for a moment at left hand muting. Some of the chords in our book require us to mute an adjacent string with the left hand. In order to do this, for instance, in the G chord, place your index finger on the third fret of the sixth string and use the pad of the index finger to lightly touch the fifth string. This will mute it. It sounds like this. We're going to look at playing chords and improving your chord playing technique. We're going to look at three things. The first will be proper left hand finger placement on the fretboard. The second will be putting one finger down at a time in order to form chords. And the third area will be alternating between two chords. It's very important from the beginning of your guitar playing that you focus on your left hand guitar technique and you ideally want to play on the very tips of your fingers of your left hand on the strings. So if I play a C major chord, you want to bring your thumb down around the neck relatively parallel to the index finger of the left hand and then form the chord and play gently with the right hand through five of the six strings. This is for the C major chord. When you're just starting out with a new chord, it's best to practice the chord by playing one finger in the left hand at a time. And usually it's best to start with the index finger and then move outwards. So first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. I'm going to show you how this could be done with the C major chord in open position. So if we start by taking the index finger and going to the first fret of the second string and playing a C, then lift our hand up, then try the C again. And all the while, remember, we'll be using the tip of the index finger. Then let's try playing the C, and then adding the E, which is on the fourth string, second fret. So it will sound like this. C, and then E. After you have a few repetitions of that particular movement, then try adding all three fingers, one finger at a time, starting with the first finger, then the second finger, and then the third finger. So that you'll have C, then E, and then C again. And this C is on the fifth string, third fret. This was, is how it will look and sound. Lift your hand up and try it again. And repeat this every day. It can vary between 10 and 20 times, and you'll start to see some improvements. We're going to have you play through an A minor chord in a song and just strum on the downbeat. And then, as we've done before, lift your hand up and put it back into the position for A minor 
for the downbeat of the next measure. I hope you enjoy it.